¿Qué hubo raza? Pues aquí andamos en la huerta. Aquí tenemos el durazno. Ya está más o menos grande. Creo que el otro año que viene lo empieza a cortar así para que, para que se brote más como para producción. Ahorita no me, no me preocupo tanto de eso ahorita. Pero otro durazno, cereza, otro durazno, manzana, manzana, um, pera, pera, albericoque, albericoque. Uh, en este video, pues, mira antes que colecciono huevos y comida, lo, mira antes que colecte huevos del nuevo gallinero que, que estamos usando. Uh, ya mira, ya mira hasta atrás cómo está el jardín, uh, como la, la milpa. Y pues un poquito de cómo se ve todo y pues lo que vamos a hacer ahora es voy a tratar de colectar un poquito de zacate o pues casi todo el zacate que puedo um, en, en hacerlo para que como de una manera que cuando no me empiece a cansar mucho um, ahí está, o sea, ya que me empieza a cansar ya ya estuvo con el zacate um, para darles un poquito las gallinas usar un poquito el zacate para los nidos de las gallinas um, ya los restos se, se revuelven la tierra. Ah, entonces está eso que vamos a tener que, a tener que echar a andar ya. Justamente por toda la semana va a estar así, suave, fresco, claro, ladito un poco. Ah, y pues ya se cuenta la siembra ya vino, ya me lo tengo que aventar. Porque de un poquito menos de un mes, tres semanas a, a un mes, la siembra ya iba. Pues, y ahora estamos aquí en la huerta, como digo, los árboles, todo. Uh, se, ve que está, se ve que va todo bien. Creo que también voy a empezar a utilizar todo, todo lo que dejó la gallina de popó, todo lo que he colectado, todo lo que, que voy a limpiar el gallinero. Uh, voy a empezar a darles um, ese alimento de nitrógeno a los árboles. Uh, no se lo quiero dar todo junto, pero de cuenta quiero sacar todo y darle de botezazo a botezazo um, cada vez en cuando, a lo mejor cada dos semanas, cada tres semanas, dependiendo de cómo que tanto sale um, de, de, del excremento de, de la gallina, que los árboles les, les encanta. Y pues como estamos en la huerta, eh, el otro día fuimos a las aventuras, ahí con... Ahí con el viejo de Aventuras del Oeste, mi carnal, Sonora Survival, el Mofles, ahí, ahí mi otro canal, el Aventuras con Oxy. Um, encontramos un lugar que pues, está ahí cerca, no, pues no cerca, pero ahí está, no se cuenta, cerca de, de más o menos. Um, una huerta, una huerta, huerta, donde tienen creo que 900 árboles frutales. Um, y son 55 acres y, y, y lo tienen y lo tienen no se cuenta mi huertita aquí no es nada la huerta que ellos tienen uh, pero ese ya es ese rancho ya es como salgo de, de, de producción y si hice mis preguntas que oh, qué onda con um, qué hacen va, va, van y lo venden al mercado que si sí van a veces um, que se envasan y venden, y se envasan y venden, y compré un, un, uno de durazno, está riquísimo. Y igual, tiene las mismas variedades, porque cuando yo estaba mirando los nombres de, de, de los árboles frutales ahí, tienen las mismas variedades que yo tengo aquí. Estamos en la zona, estamos en este lugar, en el desierto, entonces hay ciertas variedades que no van a crecer y ciertas que sí. Y pues, de, y pues de todo, muy, muy, muy bonito lugar. Entonces, uh, como, como, como es, ya sé que fue una aventura de, de, del otro canal, que estábamos en una aventura, pero es algo como más, más de rancho. Entonces, el video que sigue después de este, antes, antes de que veas que empiezas a, a chambear y todo con, um, con los restos, la, la, la milpa. Uh, limpiando aquí un poquito más la huerta el gallinero y, y todo eso vas a ver ese ese ranchito no, ese rancho um, o granja, es más granja porque 
no, no tienen ganado, tienen, tienen huerta. Y pues ahí estuvo, muchas gracias. Como ya miraron, pues ya se vieron cómo está todo ahorita y a seguirle a, 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 con la siembra y todo. Y pues muchas gracias y ahí les sigo el inglés. What's happening, y'all? So here we are, we're, we're, we're at a mini orchard and as you saw in the video, you know, I, I did a couple of things there with the chicken coops, got the eggs, um, got the eggs of the new coop because we are using the new coop. And, and then I took a stroll back to where the garden's at, right? Um, the field, uh, our little field. And you can see the, basically, as this video is, you can basically see the state of everything um, as of right now. Um, and so one of the things I'm gonna do, apparently it's gonna be this fantastic, pretty much like the whole week. Nice little wind, shady, cloudy, um, not too hot. So hopefully, I mean, even if it doesn't stay like that, hopefully it does, but I'm gonna take advantage of this weather Try to harvest as much of that grass I have in the bag as possible. So I eventually start getting tired. Once I start getting tired, it's kind of like, ah, I don't really need the grass. I'm only getting the grass for the chickens. Um, and the thing is, I'm going to use the grass to put a little bit in their bedding. Um, so when they lay eggs and then the rest, I'm just going to throw it in the coop and, and they'll basically eat it all, make it disappear. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much the point where, it's pretty much the point where like it is, it is at that um, planting season. My planting season is here um, in in a month, right? So what's gonna happen is I have three weeks to a month to just have everything ready and crops in the ground um, at that one month mark, right? It's supposed to be right there. Um, first week of April is when I have to just, have to just first, second week of April, is just, I, everything has to be in. Of what I'm starting off and everything, so so we got that going. Um, and so then the other thing is, here we are in the orchard, as you can see, or as you saw, you know, there's 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 a there's a peach, cherry, a peach, a peach, apple, apple, pear, pear, apricot, apricot. Um, Everything's going good. Everything's fantastic. That flowers, this one already bloomed. The flowers are already getting dry. Um, they're basically they're doing good on, on, on the sprout, on the sprouting, the flowers, everything's looking pretty good. I got the water going on. Um, it's about time I go and grab like what's left of like the chicken coop. Oh, like the, the chicken poop, uh, I should say, and start basically adding it to the basins. So when I water it, they have that in, that extra intake of nitrogen. Because these trees really love that stuff. Um, and yeah, and try to figure out how I'm able to do that. Where either either I can do it by like, like half a bucket, a bucket every two weeks, every three weeks. Like I have to figure all that out. And get that going, get that set. Um, but now that we're on, the, now that we're here at the orchard, um, there is one thing that uh, it's like we went on, we went on the adventures on the channel of uh, Aventuras con Oxy. Is we were on an adventure with the home from Aventuras del Oeste, my brother's North Survival, and, and Muffles. Uh, we stumbled upon an orchard. Um, it's not that far. It's pretty out there, but. It's quite a bit of a distance, but it's not like crazy far. Like we had to drive another state. It's just it's basically just on the other side of the mountains, um, which basically heading down to town to town. It's, it's just right there. Um, and yeah, so they had an orchard of like I think 900 trees, and it was 55 acres, and, and they had basically the same varieties of like peaches that I have here. Um, same pears so it was just like of course right we're in the same pretty much climate area and everything um, but over there they had a full-grown orchard like full orchard and i did ask questions like oh did, did you guys go to farmers markets they do 
Um, do they basically just can all, can all the stuff? You do can. I bought a can of like some some peach jam. It's, it's very delicious. And uh, and instead of putting that like on the adventures channel, that's what you're gonna see next um, here in, here on the on this channel because that place is more is more it's more it's more a farm instead of like an adventure thing. It's more of a farm. Um, that way you can see like a, a, one of like an actual farm of an orchard or let's just say an actual orchard pretty much in the vicinity of this area of like oh i'm trying to homestead i'm trying to grow my fruit trees here i got 10 they got 900 right so it's just like it's right there same variety same temperature same climate it's just like it's right there so you guys can see a little bit of like this is pretty much the same thing i'm trying to do but instead of just doing the whole orchard in my little six acres um, they have 55 acres and they got a full like full thing um, but yeah that's something you'll see in the next one um, before you'll see me basically start tackling on my planting season because because I was just there pretty much this weekend so uh, so anyways this was what we got we got going on we gotta get we gotta get we gotta get all this stuff going so so yeah, keep at it, keep going, just get it done. And thank you all for joining us. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe, ask questions, and we'll get back to you. Thank you.